What's happening guys, it's Bharat Nagpal for iGan.in and today we're going to be taking a look at the gaming on the Micromax Canvas 3D or the Micromax A115. Now the Canvas 3D essentially based on the same hardware as the Canvas 2 which was the A110. You have a dual core MediaTek processor, the same kind of graphics and the same amount of RAM. But the one thing about uh, the Canvas 3D is uh, the minute you pop in a micro SD card, the phone recognizes that as the internal storage. So you don't have any sort of limitation to the amount of games you can download. You don't have to run uh, apps like apps to SD. You can directly download all sorts of games onto the storage, which automatically becomes the memory card uh, once you insert a big size memory card. So you can insert up to a 32 gigabyte memory card into the device and you can have up to 32 gigabyte of internal storage on the device, which is absolutely brilliant for people who want to do gaming. So let's talk about gaming on the device. Let's start with Virtual Tennis. The Virtual Tennis game played amazingly well. The graphics were good and the response from the game was overall excellent. Uh, we feel uh, that games like Virtual Tennis will work beautifully on the Canvas 3D. Take a look at some of the gameplay. Moving along, we started playing FIFA 12 and this is where things started to get rough. We saw the same sort of ground disturbance uh, that we saw on previous generation devices from some other manufacturers. Uh, the ground display doesn't look nice at all and uh, although you can play the game properly and we did manage to score a goal as well, uh, the ground is completely distorted and that's due to the lack of proper resolution for uh, uh, graphics and that is a lack of power in the graphics card or the GPU of the device. So although you can play the game properly, the graphics don't look good at all as you can see from the gameplay. Next we played Real Racing 3. Now Real Racing 3 is a really heavy and graphics intensive game. And in Real Racing 3, we saw that the graphics performance was actually very good. The car was very responsive when we were turning it around. And uh, almost the minute we touched the screen, it applied the brakes and the response time was absolutely wonderful. If you try and listen in on the music, you'll see that there is a bit of dodginess in the music. And the music playback isn't smooth at all within the game. So you can turn off the music, play your own music. You have lots of uh, several options uh, that you can have uh, for this uh, but for the time being, uh, that's what the issue is. Music doesn't play properly, but game and the gaming itself is smooth, if not very good, it's, it's bearable. Let's move on to Asphalt 7. Now this is where things got interesting. When the game loaded up, we were pretty confident that this device should be able to run the game without any issues. But after about 4 seconds into the gameplay, you start to realize that the game or the device is not capable of playing this game at all. You have sudden moments within the game where for about 2 or 3 seconds the game blanks out. And you just hope that when the game comes back in, uh, your car isn't wrecked and you're in a great place but it almost seems like uh, you have blank outs or you've been on drugs or something because the game just simply disappears in the middle and it shows up after two or three seconds of uh, a blackout and in most scenarios you've already crashed your car or uh, something or the other has happened so if you want to enjoy asphalt 7 i believe you should look elsewhere watch a bit of the gameplay Now we played Nova 3 on almost all high-end uh, Android devices and we feel that most of them were able to run Nova 3 without any issues. Some 
uh, say that Nova 3 is not compatible with their device, but in most cases, uh, Nova 3 runs flawlessly throughout these devices. But the fact that we could install Nova 3 on the Canvas 3D was absolutely wonderful. We started playing the game, and the gameplay is so painfully slow that the minute you start to play the game, you feel like you don't ever want to play this game again. I cannot elaborate more, just watch a bit of the gameplay. The Canvas 3D appears to be a good value proposition with the kind of specifications they have inside the box for a price of about 9,999 rupees. You have a dual core CPU, a good 5 inch display which looks good and the overall performance from the device is good. But if you want to do gaming, this may not be the device for you. If you are limited to arcade games and just simple games like Temple Run, Virtual Tennis or even Angry Birds, uh, then this phone might suffice. But if you want to go in for high end gaming uh, like Nova 3, uh, Mortal Kombat, or even Asphalt 7, then the Canvas 3D is not going to be the device for you. If you have any questions or queries, do leave them in the comment section below. You can check out the full detailed gaming results on iGAN.in. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV. And until I see you next time, guys, this is me, Badnak.